you see him and you see the way he works at practice, you see the way he treats his teammates, you see the way he treats you know you as a coach. And he is as good as gold. And there's not many people you know that you just are genuinely that happy for. And there's no doubt that uh, that's how I feel about Nathan. And if you know Coastal Alabama is getting you know the best of Alabaster, so I mean there's a, I mean I could go back to practices. All y'all's thinking on the way to work this morning um, that I don't think I've ever yelled at. I mean, you can ask my tennis guys, the guys that I play football for me. I, I like to yell, you know, but I don't think I ever yelled at him a single time. You know, I, think, I mean, maybe got onto him or maybe pushed him running wise, but he, he never really did anything. I mean, there were days when I would take the guys over and get them with the pros, and I would just let Nathan and, I, and Rob or other senior let them go practice because they would work so hard. By, you know, by themselves, they'd get a lot more done on their own because he works. You know, he works that hard. So there's no doubt. Coastal Alabama is getting, you know, the best of Alabaster, and he knows there's, you know, tennis-wise, he's got a long way to go, um, but he's going to, I mean, he's going to get there because he works so hard and is, you know, honestly one of the best kids I've ever met, and, I, again, I'm not just proud of him. I'm genuinely happy for him. So I think we could more around him. High school actually, so I'm sure I'm not afraid. Of uh, I also coach at the Racket Club. And, What's your uh, name? My name's Clint Johnson. <laughs> I guess it was about six months ago I decided to leave Hoover and come to Pelham to coach at the Racket Club. Uh, I actually met Nathan at a Hoover Country Club tournament. Uh, I had no affiliation to Country Club or to that Country Club. Uh, I think the first question I asked him was, how much do you like to run? <laughs> His response was questionable. Uh, I showed up at the end of November and we started our running regiment, I guess. Uh, we do multiple things as far as two miles, quick footwork, agility, and he's done every bit, never questioned it. Um, so I consider myself fortunate to have had the opportunity to coach him for the past six months. but. He got there before I came along. He did all the work himself. He gets all the credit. It's been an honor to get to coach you. So, um, Coach Delaney at um, Coastal Alabama couldn't be here, so she reached out to me and asked me to read a statement for her. And it says, we're so honored that Nathan has chosen to attend Coastal Alabama Community College and our tennis family. I've had the pleasure on several occasions to watch Nathan and communicate with his family. We're proud to have Nathan and his, and his strong family ties. It's very obvious that he has a very structured and defined family support system. There are several reasons that we're excited about Nathan. Not only is he is an awesome athlete, in addition, he's of outstanding character and a strong student. I've often overlooked talented athletes because of bad attitudes and inferior academics. Not the case with Nathan. He will join a team of motivated, sound moral character teammates, and that he will help push, hopefully, us to advance to a national appearance in 2018. I'm sorry I could not be with him today to start the next step in his career, but I'm so happy he will be joining the Coastal Alabama family in the fall. I coach Dr. Richard Delaney. Nathan in the seventh grade came home and said, I'm going to try out for tennis. You would think that's not shocking. I, however, was shocked <laughs> uh, because guess what? Nathan didn't play tennis. We didn't have a tennis racket. There might have been one collecting dust in the garage someplace, but it was quite shocking. Um, and even more so, it was three weeks till tryouts. <laughs> but he got a racket. We got him some quick lessons and he made the team. And he has found a passion in tennis that I love seeing in him. He loves that sport. And Nathan, I will say, you not you didn't just follow your dream, you have chased it. Because this is what you wanted. We're so, so proud. And thank you so much to the to the Dr. Hester, to Dr. Vickers, to all the administrators, to the coaches. Thank you for investing not only in this tennis program, but thank you for investing in our kids, most of all. Yeah. <laughs> 
want to say thanks everyone for coming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for putting all this together and always supporting me. And always believing in me. Uh, thanks to my grandparents for taking me to all these times. <laughs> <laughs> This is what makes it so special because you can see all the thank yous that go around. It really is a, a, a team effort and a family effort and, and there's so many people that are a part of this success story here and it makes all of us feel so good about that because we contributed to that. You really did. You helped, you helped with that and that's the case with all of us. And uh, so, you know, a thank you again family and friends and Pro coaches, I didn't, I didn't mention you uh, earlier, but thank you, and uh, and and also uh, a special thanks to uh, Mrs. Vickers for coordinating this, like she does with all of these signing events. These are very special and unique, I believe, to how we do this at Thompson High School, and so she does a great job with that. So thank you for that. Now, but <laughs> I just ask that visitors, family, and coaches with Thank you. All right. Yeah. Um, just want to say something real quick. I'm Rusty. I just want to date some early coaches. Uh, this is a happy day, but and I don't, I'm saying this, and this isn't happiness, but uh, one of Nathan's best friends ever. I uh, just want to say that Elaine Roberts, who's on our Thompson team, she would be extremely proud of you, Nathan. They played on our summer teams a few years ago, and uh, just always want to admit, I'm, she's here in spirit, and she's so proud of you. And um, like Coach Clint said, um, you know, Clint has just done an enormous job with Nathan. Uh, I know you just came in the, in the fall, but, um, and, you know, I, I'm glad I helped you learn a love of tennis. And Nathan has always been a team player, whether it's on the Thompson team or a summer USDA team, and even around doing tournaments, which are kind of individual. Clint, they're a team. That team that uh, practices with Clint with the Edge group. But Nathan's always been a team first player. He's even helped with tournaments at the Racket Club. And just such a, he's a great tennis player, but he's such a good person. And I'm just really proud of you. I wanted to mention Elaine, uh, that she's proud of you. and. Uh, I remember when you and Rob and Clara were in a group, I remember the first group Nathan and Rob were in was like these two big boys and about ten girls <laughs> in a beginner group, but uh, Nathan always loved tennis, but everything that he's doing and what you've achieved right here was done by you. You know, we're there, the coaches are there, Coach Easley, Coach Huggins, me and Clint, Steve, we're all here to guide you, but Nathan, you did this and we're really proud of you. So.